Hey guys, welcome back. Drip and Farm 4 Pop. I'm your host, Drip Coach, dropping knowledge bombs on all Drip ecosystem related projects. And we got another replay from the Twitter space live stream that Drip to Wealth, aka Kryptonite KK, did on March 8th. So that was uh, 5 a.m. my time. And a lot of you may or may not have caught it. I know you're not in the time zone as me, but just uh, wanted to recap and share this with you guys in case you miss it or in case you're not on Twitter and share this with, I know my community that's here because I really enjoy the streams with Drip to Wealth. He does a great job of teasing out questions that are different than the traditional narrative of like a kind of an AMA. And it lets you get a deeper dive into the interviewers that he has on there. And specifically in this one, of course, me. So you guys know that I've been running this channel now just over a year and I get great at one-sided communication, sharing my stream of consciousness, so to speak. But it's very different to have an actual dialogue and have a great interviewer or someone to, um, bounce those things back and forth with, and then just follow that organic thread. So there's a couple of knowledge bombs and uh, passionate topics that I drop in here. And we tease out the uh, benefits as well as some of the perks and stuff related to the Change360 platform and why this is my forever platform. So if you guys aren't aware and want to learn more about that, take a listen at this clip and let's dive straight into it again. Thank you very much. Kryptonite trip to wealth for this opportunity. Hello, hello, hello. Coach. Yes, sir. I can hear you loud and clear. Uh, I was just getting set up. How you doing, my friend? Out freaking standing. Got you Lima charging as well. Wonderful, man. Glad to hear that. We're going to wait for a couple people to get joined on us. Yeah, no worries. Sounds like you've been on circuit lately <laughs> yeah i went out a little earlier so that i wouldn't be in the middle of it so just just got back in about seven minutes ago <laughs> sounds good what time is it there i know it's pretty early 5 a.m okay got it what time do you normally get up uh somewhere between four and five so i don't set an alarm but i go to bed at the same time so usually i'm up between 4 15 4 45 is probably the sweet spot sounds good love it and then the first thing you do is it generally get to your workout and get going yeah drink uh, about a liter of water while i'm getting ready and then head straight out the door yeah sounds good that's discipline that and you've probably been doing that for many years you probably can't even remember that. oh yeah when you started yeah, yeah. definitely that, that's actually how funny you mentioned that i tell that to uh clients all the time they're like how can i find motivation to work out how can i find motivation for this i was like it's a quote from mel robbins motivation is bullshit. It's like, you don't need motivation. What you need is discipline and you need to have, have a habit and a routine, something you can stick with. And people get triggered by the word discipline, but it's like discipline is the ability to actually implement some kind of devotion, self-love, self-respect to yourself. It's like, oh, I love myself enough that I'm not going to stay up till midnight eating chocolate bonbons. I'm going to go to bed at 10 o'clock, <laughs> right? I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. and do what I said I'm going to do because I have self-love, self-worth all that stuff right so it's like yeah that's what you need to have fuck the motivation no that's so good look i gotta make sure people hear that opening because that <laughs> is a mic drop but at the beginning of the twitter spaces that's the crazy part right i see your mo and we've got lady of the faucet the one and only lady man what's happening glad you guys are both here hey we're just talking um getting situated so coach was just going through an example of how motivation is kind of BS. And I like how he spent it and really referred to it as like self-love. If you think about it in that regard, it actually has a different feel to it, right? It, you, you, you actually think about self-awareness and self-care when you say like, you know, self-love and, right. and awareness, like it, it just feels different versus discipline, right. which is firm and, you know, not so inviting. Right, right. And it feels like when you say discipline, it's going to be hard and you've got to cut certain things out. Right. But they're it's still also probably yeah, true, yeah, they both have the same just the way that you spin it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. Yep. NYC, welcome. Lavelle, I see ya. Coach, let's do this, man, because I really want to get into this. This is really interesting stuff because AI, we hear it quite a bit. It's like part of our vocabulary, but I don't know how many people really 
understand AI, mm, right? And then how it really fits into, you know, the world in general. But then fitness, because that's where your love and passion is, and that's obviously part of um, the Change Three Hundred and Sixty. Is kind of creating a synergy between AI technology and cryptocurrency, right? Right. Because I know you've got a goal to achieve, and we'll get into that. And that goal is clearly attainable. I just want to make certain people are aware of it, and then more importantly, understand the benefits because they are massive, and I think people are missing it. So I want to make certain that that comes across loud and clear on our Twitter Spaces. Awesome. So I want to allow enough time to cover it, and if there's something we don't get into. Or something that you think is extremely relevant, and we need to talk about it. Right. Let's just bring it up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, let's just bring it up. All right. So let's do this, Coach, because I don't want to assume anything again. I'm, this is going to be part of standard operating procedures. Like I really want people to understand who you are. And again, think about it from this regard. Mm -hmm. We tend to say, "Hey, hey, I got this YouTube channel. I just covered that on my last video." Well, what if? I'm new to Twitter spaces and I haven't seen your last video. Like, who are you? Right, right, right. <laughs> like, help me understand who Drip Coach is. And then that probably tells a story behind why you're passionate about uh, AI technology, physical fitness, and then more importantly, the health and wellness of an entire community. All right. right. So let's maybe do that for them, if that's okay with you. Like, just really quick, introduce yourself and let people know who you are. Sure thing. All right. So for those of you that yeah, don't know me, uh, I go by Drip Coach. That's a moniker that just kind of stuck now after about a year running this YouTube channel. But prior to even this, I've been doing some form of coaching my entire life. Um, I've done uh, taught martial arts, have five, di five different black belts. So I used to teach that professionally. Um, I was doing... Uh, we call it physical training leader in the military. So teaching the actual health and fitness side of uh, exercise in the military. Then um, I was teaching actually IT. So my background is IT. So oddly enough, that's where a lot of this love comes from. So I was the kid. I don't know. Some of you may not be old enough yet, but uh, when we had the Macs in the computer labs in school and playing the Oregon Trail and all these other games on computers, <laughs> I was the kid that uh, was trying to take it apart and um, trying to figure out how to hide programs on the computer and all this stuff <laughs> at a young age. So I've always been fascinated right. by tech and uh, fitness has always been part of that because my dad was in the military, he retired. So I think that blend early on as a kid of uh, health and fitness and technology just carried myself into my military career doing IT work originally, actually air traffic control and then IT work, but still keeping fitness as a uh, hobby, if you will, then eventually mm. fitness became the uh, the primary job when I moved out here to Cambodia to teach it. And um, then that brought me back to the AI or tech side, not AI just yet, but brought me back to the tech side because um, delivering my personal training via web apps and uh, apps on your phone and stuff like that and doing virtual calls even before COVID. So they, it was just a natural progression to have both health, health and fitness and tech kind of blended together that is crazy because you know people they spend a lifetime coach really trying to figure out what they want to do when they grow up right when you really think about that like how many people create or at least think about a major when they're probably about what 17 18 19 years old you're supposed to determine what you want to do with the rest of your life <laughs> right. and go get a degree in that thing and finally realize that that's not what i want to do so you spend many more years, you know, in an occupation that just pays the bills. There's no passion behind it. There's no desire. You don't necessarily feel like you're moving the needle. Right. So people spend a lifetime trying to figure out what they want to do when they grow up. And it seems like for you, just the military background from your father, the physical fitness, and then a passion for technology, you've got an opportunity to kind of marry both right. and do something you really enjoy. That's crazy. Yeah, for sure. Right? So when they say... Uh, when you do what you love, it doesn't really feel like work. Does it feel like work when you're coaching people and physical fitness and playing around with technology? Does it feel like work or is it still funny? No, this is definitely fun. So I spend hours on hours a day doing research and stuff like that. So I enjoy the, the coaching aspect. So actually out here, I had a physical gym that I brought 
uh, or built, I should say. And um, the actual in-person training, so I'm not, I don't enjoy the actual, what I call just rep counter coaches, the ones that sit there, good job, one more rep, two more. Like, I can't stand that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I prefer the, the mindset side of coaching and dropping the kind of nuggets and stuff like you guys see on my channel to get people to actually become, like we mentioned earlier, self-disciplined and have the ability to take these tools and hone them towards their own life. And then hopefully each one teach one and spread that out like a ripple effect. Whereas if I'm just there with you counting your reps and that's all you get out of the session, then I feel like I failed as a coach. So when I'm actually doing the at scale coaching, that's where I shine and what I enjoy doing the most. So that's definitely not work. I love doing 100% of that, doing the research, condensing all that down and then giving it back to someone for them to get that aha moment. And uh, like there's an old saying that goes, those who can't teach. And I believe the same thing is <laughs> it took a moment i had to think through that i love yeah. it okay okay i know where you're going with that. so All i right. believe it's uh -huh. the same way in coaching because for example if you look at some yeah. of the absolute best in class coaches like some of the gym coaches in the olympics are typically like these fat white guys that teach ballet or not ballet gymnastics right they're out of shape it's like wait a yeah. minute how is that possible and they yeah. got gold medal you know um gymnast or if you look at uh usain bolt's coach he couldn't sprint to the end of the block but he's there yeah. ensuring that usain bolt could be or was the fastest man in the world i think he just recently got beat but my point is is that there's something very rewarding about that because at some stage you just have a bunch of knowledge that you want to distill and being able to give that to someone and them executed on it is just an is is just as good as winning the medal or the award yourself so that's where I get my totally my feedback from. No, that's good because, in your opinion, you get the fruits of your labor like real time, right? Uh, and and that's satisfying in itself. And you're right. What's shocking is most people uh, who are really good at something, specifically sports, since you brought that up, they do struggle with coaching. And my best example is like Michael Jordan. Right, right. He's probably the best basketball player, arguably but struggle with building a team and coaching. Right. And to, to your point, it is something unique about those people who may not be the best athlete in our example, but understand the game so well that they could put the right people in the right places to build a championship. Right. So that's something to be desired, man. So again, that's probably, hence your play on words with Drip Coach. Exactly. Right. So again, your background has been around leading people in physical fitness and in the armed forces and sounds like now you want to blaze trails in the tech space yeah right so so let's so let's do this let's get into that so again i kind of led with with ai mm -hmm. so again it's like a very generic term that we all hear yeah and it's still kind of spooky and not really <laughs> sure what it really means you know what i mean coach yep. so like dumb that down for like the average person like what what would you say ai is and why people should really be paying attention. Oh man, yeah. Um, I guess what it is is not what we've seen it in the movies. <laughs> so this isn't yeah. this isn't um, Skynet, you know, taking over and we're all going to be doomed to our own peril of the machines. But in simple terms, uh, it's for those that don't know, stands for artificial intelligence. But it's basically doing or simulating what we do as humans, right? So as a child, or even throughout your adult life you learn from other people or from other experiences. You now can do the same thing with computers. You can let them learn from other experiences, from other information, from other simulations, and they just basically extrapolate that data. So they learned that, there was a video I put out where they had a computer learning to play Pong, which is like the arcade, you know, with the paddle at the bottom and then it's trying to break out yeah. break the blocks. So what they did in that simulation is they just told the computer about the environment. Like, here's this bar down here, here's four walls around the entire environment, and then here's this ball, and then there's some blocks at the top. Like, that's just simple information it gave it. So then you see the computer trying to figure out, well, what do I do in here? So the paddle's moving back and forth, the ball is missing, yada, yada, yada. And I think they gave it one uh, goal. It said, increase the score at the top of the screen, like the number, make this number go up. So it had no idea what to do. But over time, it starts to figure out, okay, move the paddle. Okay, hit the ball. The ball hits the wall. Oh, there's angles. Oh, the box, when it hits the blocks, the blocks break. And then eventually it gets really good at, you know, bouncing it back and forth. Really
really, really well. Then it gets a strategy. It's like, ah, the fastest way to do this mm-hmm. and optimize the score is to break one side and let the ball bounce around up top to clear out the most paddles. So it gets efficient at doing it, right? So that's yeah. AI in a nutshell. It's basically just constantly taking in data and it never fails. So I use this in my coaching all the time. Um, because as human beings, we have this fear of failure, but AI actually never fails. It looks at failure as an acronym that I like, first attempt in learning, right? So, Ooh, <clears throat> soundbar. Hold on, yeah, that's a soundbar, man. We got to get to the soundbar, man. Got to get to the soundbar. Right. Love it. So all it's doing is going, okay, that didn't work. Let me try something else. That didn't work. Let me try something else. Yeah. Until it figures out, yeah. in its opinion, the absolute optimal, most efficient way to do something. And then that's it. Then it continues to do that thing until you change another variable or something like that. So what we have Mm. right now in AI is a very simplified version of that where they fed it a bunch of data. This is specifically the chat GBT side, which um, is a language model. So they just fed it a bunch of text, just gigs and gigs worth of text, written text and scour from the internet and books and all this stuff like that. And it just basically formulates like a math equation, like one plus one equals two. So it's assuming if I get these three words in sequence, the next word is probably this. And now that I have these four words, the next word is this. So it's just doing math over and over and over and over and over again. So it knows that if I say elephant, cat probably doesn't come after elephant, right? Or yes. cat, whatever, elephant before cat, whatever the case may be. It doesn't fi- never yeah. finds that in language. So that's all it's really doing is just running real time processing and comparing uh, historical data points with words that go together based in context. So there's no real intelligence there. It's just really fast at processing data. And that's something. And to your point that the missing variable is the emotional side of things. Right. Like most human beings naturally get frustrated, disappointed, upset when they attempt something and they fail at it. Exactly. And we normally take that energy and we just stop. It's like we're stuck in quicksand. We don't want to move. And if we thought more like AI, which is let me process what happened, build that into my next step and then see what happens and continue to rinse and repeat until you achieve whatever success looks like for you, either in physical fitness or mental intelligence or, you know, wealth. Like, wouldn't that be shocking? Exactly. Like that is that is the the secret sauce there kind of manage your emotions as you attempt to learn something new and say to yourself that there are no losses it's really just lessons and build them into the equation man that's powerful i love that all right so so good so that helps me understand and everyone else for to your point who is like this term is so ambiguity there's a lot of ambiguity around ai like i know what it stands for but what does it mean how does it work so that that's good coach so so let's do this because when i think about uh change 360 you're attempting to bridge ai with cryptocurrency Mm -hmm. but it's really based on two pillars right so one is which is called like a holistic well-being and in my mind that's both physical and mental health right but then you're adding a second pillar which is wealth right like financial stability right so where did change 360 come from let's start there uh, like, where did this idea come from in your mind? Uh, yeah, so the original idea was born out of the pandemic, right? So there's uh, another phrase that uh, some people look at problems as, uh, what do you call that? Something negative and others see it as opportunity. So for me, the the pandemic problem out here, in Cam- one in Cambodia, it actually hit us later, ironically, even though we're closer to China, it, it came later. So we were doing well while the US was initially locked down and other Western countries were locked down as well. So my gym was still functioning, everything was great. But I, mind you, so the pandemic closed down, you know, places of recreation, places of human connection and, and, and interacting and all this stuff, right? So I have a physical gym and then now all of a sudden we are on lockdown here and I'm like, this is my income stream. I have rent. Surprise. Right. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I, I knew at that moment, I was like, I got to figure something out. Because if not, this dream dies here with me. So it's like, well, what's the opportunity from this? And um, I just, I was like right in the middle of a workout asking myself. That's usually when I do my, my brainstorming. <laughs> it's when I'm working out. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, it gives my body 
I can find something to do with my body and lets my mind subconsciously kind of work on problems. So while I was working Got out, it. okay, um, it came to me. I was like, oh, the opportunity here is that the entire world is being impacted physically from this. So nobody has access to their gym to exercise anymore and they're being locked indoors. So their mental wellness is suffering. Like this is impacting everybody on a mental level due to the restrictions and all that stuff. So I was like, so there's an entire need for some form of support in this. And I was like, okay, so what does that look like? And uh, me again, being mostly a physical training coach and strength training coach, um, I was like, okay, I don't actually have the tools in my tool belt, but I've always believed in collaboration over competition. So I started looking at it from, well, who are the people that are equipped to hold classes online and actually excel in this environment? And the mm -hmm. first couple things that jumped up were like group classes, not group classes, but like Pilates, yoga, Zumba, all, um, mindfulness kind of coaching. I was like, okay, so all these people can definitely host their classes online and not have any issue. I was like, but I don't teach any of that. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to, yeah. <laughs> not going to be able to learn this. I'm not going to be able to do anything with yeah. it. So I was like, okay, uh -huh. how about instead I put all these people together because each of them are like a tool in your carpenter toolbox. They have one way to approach the problem. But if I make something where we all work together to solve this problem, then I have a business model that now I can market. So kind of what I've done with drip marketing DAO and everything else I've done in my life. I look for areas of opportunity and try to bring in the pieces of the puzzle to make it work as a kind of a well-oiled machine together. So find the, um, there's a book called Disrupt You and it's basically telling you to find areas within different businesses where you can blend things together to create a disruption and a billion dollar business. So for me, gotcha. this was that disruption model because prior to this and still right now, the health and fitness industry is so uh, selfish in a way, like you don't outsource or you don't actually recommend other people because you think that they're competition. So if I'm a absolutely, yeah, so if I'm a strength coach, I'm not going to tell you about yoga. I'm gonna be like, no, nah, man, just keep lifting heavy weights. And the guy's like, yeah, but I'm, I'm tight. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't care. Shut up. And absolutely. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. Stretching is overrated. Right. Yeah. Get to the weights. So, yeah. I saw this as the opportunity, reached out to a couple people here in Cambodia that had these different areas. And I created this original business model of, it was called Fit Pros. So it was like fitness professionals. And it was gonna be underneath a DAO model. Actually before DAO, it was just gonna be an online training module that would have Zumba, yoga, mindfulness. And I had a nutrition specialist, more like in the, um, I forgot what you call that uh, kind of health and wellness that holistic aspect, Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic uh, wellness. So he was going to teach that. Mm. And we were just going to blend the modules together and give people different pieces and parts based on where they were. And that got kicked off. But due to, again, the pandemic and working with people in multiple different regions and different time zones, I just couldn't get any traction. So that idea kind of died on the shelf or got put on the back burner. And then gyms reopened and went back. And then I found, got heavy into crypto and all that stuff like that. And then pivoted into drip and just left it on the back burner until eventually I get to the point yeah. where I'm at now. And I'm like, aha, here's an opportunity now where I have an audience and I still have this thing I'm super passionate about that I can finally execute on this. Man, and I'm so glad you did too, because honestly, these two, well, one has always been a passion of mine. That's physical fitness. And then um, the, um, the technology around cryptocurrency specifically has become like a second passion. Like when I first got started with cryptocurrency, the real short story was it was introduced to me back in like 2017 ish. Mm -hmm. And it was really just Bitcoin at the time. Yep. I mean, I had no desire to learn anything about it. <laughs> uh, because honestly, I thought it was a fad. It was it was a coin that no one could really explain to me. I didn't I didn't see the value associated with yep. it. You, at the time, you couldn't use it for transactions. And if you did, it was expensive. And then the, the ability to actually purchase Bitcoin was pain, yeah, painful. Exactly. You know what I mean, coach? It was just all of the red flags were just glaring in my face. And um, fast forward to 2021, it was reintroduced mm -hmm. to me. When it was over twenty thousand, so at the time it had been like uh, six, seven hundred dollars, yep. and then it went to twenty one thousand. I was like, "Oh my god!" 
I really screwed up. Right, right. <laughs> like, I messed up. And this will not happen to me again. Right. So I had someone very close to me who brought the idea to me in 2016, 2017, brought it back up in 2021. It was my nephew who is super passionate about technology. Mm -hmm. And he said, Kryptonite, you've got to understand this. And here's the point of the story. The point of the story is when you see a macroeconomic trend developing, right. you better spend some time trying to understand it first. Exactly. And then identify the opportunity second. Yep. Because there is a place for people to do a lot of things with crypto and AI and now physical fitness. So for those people that are really exactly. that are on the call that are listening and and kind of struggling with the concept of AI and how we fuse these two worlds together, coach is going to be here to kind of bridge that gap for you. Yeah. And I'm saying don't get lost in the sauce. Like keep it at a very high level and think about in terms of your physical fitness goals and your financial goals and the tools that he's going to be introducing to help uh, what's the best word to help expedite that process mm. to to maybe make it more efficient? Yeah, like using the technology to help gauge and track and adjust and monitor progress. Like at its core, that's all we're doing. Exactly. Right. So stay locked in, everybody. Stay locked in. All right. So let's do this, Coach. Let me um, give a shout out to some of the folks that just joined us. Uh, we've got. Is it 0x077? Welcome to the call. Rock Ape, I see you. NYC, Todd Nugs, Mo, Mark, Ninja, Lavelle, Crypto Clumpy, welcome to the call. Tony, welcome, my friend. Dividend Miracle, Michael, welcome to the call. Who else we got here? Uh, is it Drip the Rietis? I probably butcher that, but welcome to the call. And we also have zero R Z K R W T R. Welcome to the call. All right. So for everybody listening in, uh, if I know who you are, I will give you an opportunity to ask coach a question. And again, we are going through change 360. <laughs> and coach has done a really good job of kind of introducing himself to the community, right? Because again, for me personally, that's important in terms of building trust. Yeah. Right. You got to know who the person is. And a lot of this stuff is taking place, you know, in front of a camera or in Twitter spaces. And you really just get the audio, the audio. Right. But when you get the story right, you can and I'll speak for myself, you can generally tell someone's intent just on the delivery. The content. And in my case, like the energy mm -hmm. that I feel from an individual. Right. So I asked him to spend time introducing himself so you can find out who he is. And then the next thing he was able to do for us is kind of go through this term called AI. Right. We kind of get lost in a sauce and really not understand what that specifically means. So he was able to break that down. So if you missed it, you got to guys got you guys got to get an opportunity to kind of play it back on YouTube and Twitter spaces. Right. So make sure you kind of dial in. So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to fast forward to change. 360 which is live now right coach so congratulations yes. change 360 is live well, actually and you guys are going through not exactly live well you the, 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 the crowdfunding yes, yeah, phase specifically yeah, right. yes <laughs> yes that part of it is live and you guys have actually collected some money yes sir yeah so <laughs> we're at uh 30 percent i think crowdfunding yeah so that's a good introduction. So what's important note about this, and, and you may or may not be familiar, maybe you've participated with uh, GoFundMe or Kickstarter or something like that, but basically the way our model works is the exact same thing, but just decentralized. You get an NFT for your uh, purchase of the allocated tier. But what's important to note about that uh, amount is that if we don't meet that, um, 80% threshold, which I think is like $12,000 or $10,000, something like that, I can't remember the exact number, then 
you get your money back. So some people ask me, it's like, hey, I put, you know, I purchased, but I don't have the NFT. Where is it? Well, when it ends, which I think it's around April yeah. 25th, the smart contract will determine, did we meet the threshold or not? And if we did, then you will end up with an NFT in your wallet, all decentralized um, on the Thumbwide blockchain. And if not, then you'll just get your BUSD back in your wallet. So there's uh, no risk to the individuals that are participating. And even if we don't get the crowdfunded model that we, I'm sorry, the uh, funding that we need, we're still building the platform. So the platform is being built and it will be released within the next, I'd say 30 to 45 days for people to actually interact with. So regardless, yeah. this is my forever project, the AI and tech that we are, uh, I'm sorry, health and fitness that we were introducing earlier on the call. So I'm going to continue to build this out because I do know that this is the future. All three of these things intersecting yeah. are coming at a breakneck speed and I just want to ride the wave. So no matter what. No, it's going to happen. Right. <laughs> it's it's going to happen. Like you said, it's not if, but when exactly. to your point, I think what simply said, you're giving people within the drip community who you've been extremely loyal to an opportunity to gather an equity position in this trailblazing product right like that's what you're doing and you're saying look man i'm going to make it happen regardless but you guys can help me get there faster by participating in this crowdfunding exactly and not just giving me money but actually you're earning equity in the form of the nfts that we're going to be offering and there are crazy perks associated with the nfts that you're offering right 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 so so let's do this so because I want people, that's what I'm saying. I, I just don't know that people quite understand the value associated with the product itself and then the damn perks that are associated with it. So let's just repeat. Right now, you're at about 31% of your goal, mm -hmm. right? So close to like 4,000 has been raised. Right. The target is 12.5. That is a small ask for such a massive community. And then all of the work that you do in terms of educating the community on the entire drip ecosystem, like that in itself is worth 12, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> think, think about it this way, coach. Look, I had a very short window of YouTube videos. I'm going to get back to that in April. I think we talked about that before. Right. I know how hard it is to put out content, edit videos and be consistent with that process. Yeah. Right. Because what you're doing on the back end is one, you're making certain that you understand the information. So you're becoming an expert within the DeFi space, specifically the trip ecosystem. And then two, you're saving everyone that watches your videos a ton of time, a ton of time because you're shifting through all of the noise. Right. Right. And only putting out the relevant content. So I guess that's my way of saying, guys, Make certain that you understand Change 360. And if you support Drip Coach, which I know you guys do because everyone's watching this freaking videos, right? Right, so right. I, I know you do. I know you do. So find it in your way if there is dry powder to maybe get involved because his uh, affordable NFT is, is only 100 bucks, I believe, yes, right? Yes, that is correct. The tier one's 100 bucks. Yeah, $100. So that's not a lot, right? So let's help him get there. But he's going to do his part by continuing to provide information to make your decision a little clear. Right. So let's do this, coach, because yep. here's what I wanted to understand with the, with the AI technology. Right. So a lot of it is focused on uh, using the technology for physical fitness and really monitoring, tracking and developing a customized fitness program. Yes. And nutrition program probably uh, all all areas okay. so mental physical spiritual nutritional whatever like the goal is the holistic wellness aspect got it so let me ask you this because when i keep thinking about ai i'm thinking about what technology are you going to use to gather all of this data yeah so that's the great part about this revolution that we're embarking on so uh what i mentioned earlier chat gbt is the kind of uh standard in the space there's been other um well, i guess i'll rewind real quick open ai which was a uh company founded originally with elon musk and a couple other people and then elon kind of went on his own way since he's doing his own thing with uh, ai and whatnot but open ai is the company that is in charge of chat gbt and they released it to the public 
basically last November. So under six months ago, and it was the fastest adopted te piece of technology in human history. Um, nothing gotcha. else has grown as fast as that model has. And since then, so this is another key thing to understand about AI. So I mentioned before the AI never fails. It only learns how to improve with that learning of how to improve it's exponential learning. So we all learn linear, meaning one to the next step is two to the next step is three. When you go exponential, it's one, two, four, 16. Yeah. Whatever 16 times 16 is. <laughs> so absolutely it's it crazy, yeah. extremely fast. And to show where that's at, when they first released the model, it was, it didn't even have, I think chat GBT five is coming out now. So it was like right below three, then they did three, then three and a half and then four. And now we're at five. Like it's just the, the speeds at which they're getting, cause they're getting more and more data and feedback from more and more people using it. Well, more people using it means more data to feed into it and the faster it can learn. Uh, so makes sense. Since we're still at its infancy stage with maybe a couple million users, this thing is going to explode. And this is just one piece of AI. Like there's other areas within tech that are using AI as well, but our model will use this because they've made it public. And all that okay. means is that we can access their database and plug it in on the front end of a website. And you just are interacting with a chat bot, but we're making it simple. So something I learned from Tony Robbins uh, mastery courses, he said, if you want better answers, you got to ask better questions. Very and true. this is why most people never move forward in life or succeed in things because they're not asking the right questions. And the, the AI model is the same way. So it's like, yes, anyone can go and use this chat GBT feature. But if you don't know how to phrase the questions, you're not going to get the answers out that you can actually execute on. And that's all we do is minimize that friction and make that point easier. Got it. Now, now, when you say ask the question, so would you get the uh, responses from your clients or you're going to be asking specific questions about the general population of your clients to then develop fitness programs and nutritional programs? The, the client will be interacting directly with the AI. So if you were, for example, Perfect. my client, you would come to me and say, yep. hey, coach, here's my goals. Here's my current uh, time. Here's what I eat. Here's what I want. And I would you'd be asking me that and I would go, OK, here's your plan. Right. So that's all you're paying me to do. Yeah. Well, I can only do that, you know, at a certain uh, speed and quantity based on the amount of time I have in the day. Well, chat GBT or AI can do that at scale infinitely and much more tailored because I only have access to the data that I've consumed. So sure. I may not know something that a different technique from someone else that's maybe more effective for your specific yeah. case. Well, AI has access to that. So it's going to be able to give much more tailored, specialized um, uh, steps towards your wellness journey. And what I mentioned before, I think with you uh, briefly, when we talked the first time, is that it's going to also be able to give you the next steps for exactly where you are based off of what has been coming up. So for example, I talked to the Luke on his channel about this. Uh, shouts out to Luke Beach Office 365. He had a loved one pass and actually had a client out here who had a grandfather pass. So this happens in life, right? Things come up where you are not at your mental best to do maybe the physical part of your training or even to eat right because your actual brain chemistry is off. So now you're looking for comfort foods to make you feel better. Well, yes. a strength coach like myself, the only tool in there is suck it up, buttercup, lift the weights. <laughs> right? That doesn't work. <laughs> right. And that's not what you need at that point. But an AI true. can also can actually give you recommended steps. You're like, hey, I've been working out consistently. I hit a plateau because I just had a loved one pass and I'm not feeling up to, to working out. And it's like, well, why do you not feel up to working out? What are you going through? What's what's going on? Well, this, that and the third. And then you can start to get customized steps. It's like maybe taking time off, maybe go outside and walk and uh, do some gratitude, do some journaling, talk to a loved one. Like it's going to give you a very different training plan than suck yeah. it up, buttercup, do two more reps. I love it because honestly, that's what people tend to think about. And I, again, we're really um, minimizing the massive impact of AI technology with physical fitness. Mm -hmm. Because I'm thinking just my, my own personal experience, when I think about a personal trainer, I'm really thinking about that. Like 
going to the gym, spending time with an individual. Their goal is to design a plan or create a plan based on my fitness goals. Right. And while I'm in the gym, it's their job to correct form and make certain I exceed myself by doing extra reps. Like, that's it. I don't necessarily think of my personal trainer as a person I'll go to for counseling and mental health and things like that. Right. And you're exactly. saying that your AI technology can build that into the holistic experience. Exactly. That's crazy. Okay. Exactly. Hold on. That's a sound. <laughs> that's, that's a sound. That's a, that's a sound. And here's the funny part, Coach, because I actually wanted to bring that up specifically because I really wanted to understand, like, the biggest difference between uh, a personal trainer at your local gym and then someone who's going to attempt to provide a holistic experience from a distance. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you think the biggest barrier is? Because I'll go back to my first, my first example, which is... In my experience, I kind of enjoy personally mm -hmm. the ability to go to a gym, hear the loud noises. Mm -hmm. uh, there's there's a bit of competition involved because when you see like people in much better shape doing extra reps, I feel like there's a competition because you want to kind of compete, do a, a, a minimum the same or maybe a bit more. Sure. And then on occasion you do want a coach kind of screaming at you to get the extra rep in because those are the ones that really count. Right. So kind of like compare and contrast uh, a traditional experience, personal trainer at a coach, and then one from a distance. Yeah. So in the, my experience, like it's exactly what you mentioned. So people gravitate towards that physical training, especially when you say I need a coach they they tend to gravitate towards oh it's because i need to have someone there to motivate me and this goes back to what we opened the the call with about motivation and um i'll just share it again because most people weren't on the call so mel robbins and an, an inspirational author and uh a great book writer um she has a quote that says uh motivation is bullshit and the reason why she's also a psychologist, we have to mention that. So she has a lot of study of the human brain. So the reason she says that is because motivation is actually only there in brain chemical form to do things that we enjoy and look forward to doing and that give Absolutely. us this positive feedback. And they're typically the easy things like, you know, I can't wait to go to the beach with my family. You know, that's that's this excitement, this <laughs> right. motivation. Right. But when we're talking about health and fitness and doing the hard thing, challenging the body, getting sore, waking up early or eating the bland foods you don't want to eat whatever there's nothing motivating about it so what you need to do instead and this kind of goes back to the point of what you're mentioning about who benefits the most or not or what's different about these two environments is that you can have yeah. that motivation from a coach because they can be in your face and help you get to that next milestone and support you and all that stuff but at the end of the day when that area is no longer there you don't have that coach you move they shut the gym down due to COVID. Who do you have left to depend on yourself so you need just yourself exactly yeah. so you need the discipline to actually do these things sustainably for a lifetime like i tell my clients it's like yeah this is not a, a, a sprint this is a marathon you got to be willing to do this until you die and that's not a lot to ask from you <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> so I, I want them to understand that there's no quick fix right. you know and uh, no and, i wish there were but no and the only no, way to get that isn't. is to create some habit some routine something that's sustainable so that's the big difference is that you get that initial kickstart from that physical gym environment and of course with our ai platform yeah. you'll be getting programs that you can use in the gym but when you For hit sure. these different roadblocks the where we outshine or where online outshines in general is that it can meet you where you are wherever you are um it be that a physical change in what you need to do so you no longer want strength training you need a yoga coach or a flexibility or whatever it'll adapt immediately you don't have to go find another one you don't have to go find the gym for it you're traveling and you need a program that gets modified immediately for your travels you know so that is the i think real use case is the flexibility to support mm -hmm. each person where they are who they are you know whatever time in life they mm -hmm. need it. love it soundbar Bar. 
Hey, Coach, I've got uh, Lavelle on. He is on every week, and he is a drip maxi. <laughs> He's supporting everybody on every platform. Nice. And uh, I actually just want to invite him on to speak. Lavelle, can you hear me okay? Yep, I can hear you okay. So just – Hey, welcome, my friend. Hey, just a quick question uh, for drip coach. So does the – so I'm, you type in the information far as – you know, for us, for your meal plan and for us, you know, kind of your workout routine. Mm -hmm. Now, does the AI tool spit out like rest and recovery as well? Does it spit that out? And the other question is, I believe you alluded to it. Like, what if it's what if I'm not progressing? Does it have a, the ability to kind of adjust on the fly? You know, I don't know. Maybe I need to do more push ups. Maybe I need to do right. more jumping jacks, you know, you know, yes. hang off and listen. Yeah, good question. Lavelle. Yeah, great question. So it's exactly what you said. So it's essentially again what I do as a coach. So it, it won't be adjusting on the fly like in real time because as you're working out, you haven't given the AI or even a real coach that feedback about how your workout went. So you'll have to come back to the platform and there will be a place where you're able to give it feedback on how that went and actual check ins so like with my clients, I have them if they're virtual, basically give me a one week update check in what went well what didn't work so well, what would you change, what was a sticking point, these kinds of questions. And then from those probing questions, it can give you a another path forward, basically. And if you're plateauing, then you can say, hey, look, I'm struggling with X, Y, Z. So the easiest one is nutrition. Uh, so I'll just use that example, because with the physical part, that takes a little while before it would actually know, even me as a coach or the AI would know that it's not working. You can't just say, hey, I did 100 push-ups today and my chest is still small. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. So there's going to be a little bit of time from the physical side. But if the nutrition yeah. side, you're like, hey, you gave me a five meal a day plan and I'm extremely busy and I don't have time to meal prep. Can you give me instead three meals and that take less than 10 minutes to create? And then it'll adjust your meal plan for that or I don't have access to these ingredients. Can you make it with only these ingredients instead? And it'll do something like that. Mm, got it. Lavelle, did that answer your question? I, I think so. I yep. saw the thumbs up a few times. Yeah, but that answered my question. And also, does it factor in rest and, rest and recovery too? Yeah, so there will be like traditional uh, scientific supported rest that you need. But again, as you're giving updates, so let's just say it does a workout plan and it's like, you know, three sets of 10, 60 second rest in between every other day, full body split, something like that. Um, if you give it feedback and say you feel better and want to work out four days a week, then it'll change that. You say, I'm not recovering. I feel super sore. Then it'll say, you know, try out maybe some stretching, some foam rolling, do an ice bath. Let's break your workout down to two days. So it's going to all be based off of the information you give it. And that's where this first attempt in learning comes from with us as well. And what I told my team is we we are encouraging the actual users to tell us what's not working. So to give feedback. So it's very different than the crypto space where uh, constructive criticism is shunned. We only succeed if you give us this constructive <laughs> criticism. So I'm actually uh, pushing to get as much constructive and negative criticism as possible because that allows me to build yeah. the best model. So it'll be literally on the site Every time you purchase and every time you come back, you'll be able to give feedback on what didn't work. And I'm going to actually reward you with points for that that can be used later on. Yeah, in the raffle because that's the most important piece of this. It's like, yeah, I want you to spend your money. Great. But I need to make this successful and I need your results for that. So I'm actually looking at the completely lacking side, like I said, of the kind of DeFi degen space and leveraging the AI, exactly what I told my team. I was like, we don't need to put out a home run hit. All we need is something out there to get feedback on. And you guys need to be that aware percent. that people are gonna be upset with our product and that's perfectly okay. Remove your feelings and let's focus on the facts and how to improve it. And then we just keep making one step at a time. Samba. Yeah, feedback is important, especially uh, when you're trying to create something and uh, you need the feedback from the people that are actually using it because they're an extension of the entire population size. Right. So the sooner you get something out and, and I tell people that like at some point you've got to say pencils are down. Right. Pencils down. <laughs> this is all the information that we have at this moment in time. Right. So based on that, 
this is what we're going to release. Right. And as the feedback comes in, it doesn't feel good when someone tells you it sucks. This isn't working for me. Exactly. And if they do it in the right way and people have thick skin and they really focus on the big picture, which is I'm going to release this product because my focus is to improve the overall health and wellness of an entire population size. So until we get there, I know that we're going to hit a few roadblocks mm -hmm. and there's a few hurdles we've got to jump over it just, and just stay focused on the mission, right. which is take the feedback because if it's constructive, you and I both know the difference. Most people on the call know the difference between constructive feedback and people who are just hating. Exactly. Right. right. <laughs> the constructive feedback are telling you, I've attempted to do something. This isn't quite working. Hey, this would be a great ad. Can you modify this? Right. And if it makes sense, totally, you kind of build it in. Yeah. And here's actually the other beautiful part about building an AI platform with AI. So that feedback you're talking about, we can actually have the AI go through. So let's just say we're getting tons, Ooh. tons of feedback all at the same time. Or yeah. We're not actually have to go through it. We can actually feed this into the database and tell it to give us the top 10 points that came up, summarize it and ask oh. it to give us a solution for the next step forward to, to iterate on this. So come on, you can remove... that's the exponential piece you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right there. So you remove yeah. your, your, your fear of failure, your emotion, the human side, and you actually leverage the tech the way it was meant to be done. And then you can design something that's, you know, beneficial on both sides. Love it. All right, coach, we had somebody else pop in. It is Dividend Miracle. Hey, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Welcome to the call, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. As uh, Coach uh, was talking, he has actually answered my first question. But uh, the second one would be uh, for the AI. Would you would you know or would the people that are on there, would they know like your body type? So what works for you, like for food, doesn't particularly work for me. Like would the AI or someone be able to figure that out or, or what? Yeah. So it's going to be exactly like again with coaching so if you came to me and you said you know i'm this tall this old uh, weigh this much i've been doing this amount of exercise for this long i prefer this type of training here's my goal so you're giving me all this information and then from that we come up with a plan and like i was mentioning earlier if it's just me i have a limited data set to pull from and limited experience and of course this is a global platform so the way that different body types respond different cultures different demographics look shape all that respond differently to different stimuli so because of that it's going to be a lot more challenging for a human person to give you the next best step and you get a home run with that versus the ai taking that in right. and being a lot still going to be some mistakes hence the need for feedback but it's going to be a lot closer to your body type and what you exactly need and then when you come back and say hey these four out of ten things were great these other six didn't work so well it now has even more data to pull in and give you a better step forward. And again, we're collecting this information from people all over. So the more people with the exact same physicalities or issues or body type that you have, the better the data set will be to support you and your goals. And again, if I'm a coach human side, I don't have access to all that. Gotcha. Okay. Thanks. Right on Dividend Miracle. Appreciate you. All right. Anyone else? Any other questions for coach? I'll give it a minute. Uh, let's see who else popped in. Master Shelf, welcome, my friend. Crypto Bag Trav. <clears throat> Ginger, always on. It's my guy with capital G. Who else we got? Who popped on? Robert, welcome to the call. Yeah. All right, coach. Let's see us. Yeah, I guess while you're you're looking, I'll just explain a little more about the uh, the tiers because you really hit this home and touched on this about the 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 support and the crowdfunding aspect and being able to leverage a piece of this pie, and um, that to me is the biggest part. So right now we're all part of the drip community, and I've mentioned this on my channel before about the casino analogy and basically the casino being closed and everybody's just trying to take the take a bigger piece of that same slice but by moving outside the 
DeFi DGEN space and tackling an entirely different sector, you make the pie much, much, much bigger. And what's I'm trying to do with this is what I also talk about on my channel is the empower the impoverished side. So from a coach's perspective, especially being out here, I, my tool set that I have and what I would normally charge for services in the US is far more expensive than what the people here in Cambodia can afford to pay me. But they have every right to this, uh, uh, I guess you would call it better training and information, right? Just because they don't make the money doesn't mean they're less off or should not have the same affordability and access to it. But unfortunately, that's the way kind of capitalism works. You can't afford to pay the price, you don't get access. But absolutely with AI and a global platform and payment rail like crypto, I can now use this. I, I think our introductory model is going to be five bucks. So you're able to get a customized meal plan that, again, is going to be very different for a Cambodian person's goals and their food preferences and tolerances than it is for a Western person. But it's still going to be very mm -hmm. tailored and specific. So you're able to now. This is where making the slice of pie is bigger. This is where my vision is at. So if I'm now able to take that 60% of the underserved population, which is considered in poverty, meaning they make less than $10 a day. If I'm able to- elevate, Coach, that's massive, yeah. 60%. Yeah, exactly. God, they make less than $10 a day. So they're not even being mm -hmm. factored into any of these equations of you know making money and stuff like that. But if you're able to tap into them, level them up physically and mentally and give them holistic coaching and show them what they're capable of because you've now given them the tools to start executing forward like if you uh have clarity of mind and physical strength then now you're like okay maybe i can tackle something else maybe i can tackle something else what's what's this about well now you have 60 percent of the population that is now contributing to that that pie that we had before that was fractionalized yes so there's way more money out there when you start looking at supporting these people and giving them tools to elevate themselves and uh, bring that over into DeFi. I believe those are going to be the ones that will actually give us the true DeFi that we need because they benefit the most. But right now they're cut off. They have no access to it. They don't understand it. So you got to mm -hmm. give them a, a way to get started that actually gives them a foundation. Just telling them, hey, invest in this moon coin is not the foundation. They need to build their body and their mind and understand what they're capable of. Like I sign off all my my uh, YouTube videos with achieve your impossible. Right now they have a limiting belief in their brain that they can't do anything other than what their brother, uncle, mother, father did. And that's sell chicken or shoes or whatever the case may be. But if you show them yeah. another way, then they start to think differently. And if they're thinking differently, they start to reach a little further and they pull somebody else up and they reach a little further. And then you just grow this entire huge community because of just that one seed you planted. Coach, that's powerful, man. Sambar. 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 Coach, I'm going to do this. Uh, NYC, I see you're listening. This is right up your alley. If you can, give me like two minutes of your time. I want your perspective on the conversation that Coach and I are having on um, the holistic approach in terms of wellness, physical fitness, and uh, building wealth. Because I know this is right in your wheelhouse. So if you got two minutes, give me two minutes. All right, coach, let's do this. Because I want to get into to your point, which is next on my list. Like really the added perks that people are missing with your project. Mm -hmm. So I've got down like a couple of things, but let's kind of tease it apart. So people really understand outside of the health yep. and wellness benefits, there's like true revenue. Right. Like financial benefits associated with it so can we go through some of the perks that you're offering to people willing to participate in the crowdfunding sure can where you want to start so let's start with because what i've got down here I'm, I'm referring to it as like the revenue share piece of it okay right yep. yeah like to me like the i think most people's goals in life when you think about traditional everybody wants to own a home mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right and the piece of owning a home is saying now you've got like equity, right. you've got an asset that you can maintain, you could leverage it to create additional wealth, you can create, you can maintain the asset to then pass down to future generations. Exactly. And all of that is because you have equity in this asset and you're offering that mm -hmm. as part of this crowdfunding raise. Right, right. Right? Yeah. So that is exactly kind of the biggest perk in this so 
Um, I didn't want any speculative kind of tokens, kind of the same way for X phrase that's I didn't want to do any kind of token raise where people are expecting something to go up. They want to trade it or whatever the case may be. I wanted people to align with the vision that I have and they want to invest in this merging technology and ride that wave. Like I said, just be in the stream just to get wet. You know, that's it. That's how money flows. If you get in the way, you get wet and you make some money out of it. So I know all three of these areas, crypto, health and wellness, and AI are not going anywhere and they're all moving in the same direction and being in the center of that has a guaranteed success rate, like a much, much higher success rate. Of course, you know, there are black swan events that could happen and this may not kick off. So, um, but that being said, I'm willing to bet on myself and bet on that actual eventual outcome. So the biggest perk in this platform that I'm kind of pitching is that uh, ownership, as you mentioned. So it's the traditional VC, the venture capital crowdfunding, where you're owning a share of the revenue of what we're, what I'm forecasting us to be able to do. I've run some numbers. I'm not going to go through there now because uh, it's difficult to say we'd hit that. But like you, if you mentioned what I mentioned a few mil minutes ago, we have an ability to tap into a much broader slice of the pie. I'm going to be targeting non crypto people as well. So I can run ads and campaigns to people all over the world and use a fiat on ramp for them to purchase this $5 plan. So it fits literally everybody's budget. There's no barrier to entry and it's customizable to each person. So that means there's a lot more potential to earn money on this platform. And of that money, there's three different tiers that are paid out. So the pioneer is our tier one. That's the most affordable NFT that you can purchase. And that costs a hundred bucks. And that person will receive 5% of that crowdfunding wallet paid out for 12 months. So I don't know again what that payout would be, but right. <laughs> it's definitely a massive amount with potentiality factored in. Then yep. in tier two is the next one and that's $500. That's our trailblazer. And they will receive 15% for 18 months. 15 percent for yep. 18 months and then last is our game changer that costs 2500 and they will receive uh 30 percent for 24 months mm -hmm. and in a crazy right and in addition to that because this is again i want you guys to understand the way i'm building this out is exactly like i said the way ai works so i'm building layers of one another so this mm -hmm. first version of this nft is just for me to get something out there for you to have and see proof of concept and you know it's working but what i'm going to be doing is learning as well meaning i'm learning what the behaviors of my community are and who i'm looking to reward long term so this nft will give me some feedback on how people are viewing my development and the platform because from these different tiers i'm also awarding what I'm calling points towards the governance token that will be created. So there will be an actual token eventually, yeah. very similar to what we have with the pig pen where you own the platform, but I don't want to just mm -hmm. give that out in the beginning. I want to actually reward that based off positive behavior, based off of supporting the platform, based off of longevity, all these metrics that I'll be able to get real time data from because <laughs> the data will be there. And I'll be able to see what you're doing, who's using the platform, who's referred people, who's giving me feedback on it. So there's points being collected all throughout the journey. And at some stage, I'm not going to tell anybody when, but that's when this governance will come in. And based on the tier you purchased, you'll get a certain amount of tokens in exchange for these points you've accumulated. And those points will give you a certain allocation of those tokens and those tokens will be 100% ownership. There'll be a fixed amount. This is not going to be a inflation supply, deflation supply. It's just fixed. What's out there is out there, kind of like the Bitcoin standard. That's it. And that will be in perpetuity for all the other things I'm building on top of this platform. So again, if you believe, Coach, crazy. <laughs> if you believe in mm -hmm. me and you believe in the power of these three intersecting technologies, and some of the visions that I have for this, then the sky is the limit in regards to owning an asset that will pay you uh, significant dividends into the future. Mm -hmm. Coach, let me do this, man, because I want them to understand. So let's go back to one other thing, because Jesus Christ, I'm so overwhelmed with everything that you're saying, only because I've seen the fruits of your labor in a relatively short period of time. Mm -hmm. 
like if it's not clear to most people by this point you are a really focused driven person like you 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 identify an opportunity and you're relentless at filling the void mm -hmm. right you just are and if that means putting in countless hours organizing a group of people to collab on an idea and a concept to you know be first to market you're willing to do all of those things and for me just 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 knowing that you're willing to um, do whatever it takes for lack of a better word do whatever it takes right. to see something succeed should give people enough curiosity <laughs> to want to find out more right right coach let's at least say that uh, curiosity found out a bit more and then when they dig into uh twitter spaces and all of the videos that you produce and again in a relatively short period of time and all of the massive milestones in just youtube they've got to realize that you're going to bring that same level of commitment and effort to change 360. oh 100 100 you know what i mean so to me it's it's almost like a no-brainer but, but here's what i would say and, and and do me this before i get into the other couple perks there's always this element of competition and, and dry powder and right, right. how much money you have available, yeah, sure. right? So with everything kind of circulating just within our own community, right? Mm -hmm. Just within our own community, and all of it is focused on the right thing, which is how do we um, do our part as a community that then benefits drip. Right. And quite frankly, drips price. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah exactly. So everyone's doing their part. <laughs> So how, how do you then navigate with everything that's going on and say, hey, look, you know, I'm special, too. I need you guys to kind of focus on what I'm doing over here. Everybody yeah. who's doing something in this space is relevant. Uh, it's adding value. But find time and money to participate in this. What would you say to them? Yeah, that's a uh, man. That's a tough sell because yeah it, it is all competing for the same eyeballs and same capital so i guess what i mentioned before i think it was a mike the investor or andre topian i can't remember but it's essentially i'm only looking for people that align with me right and my values okay what i'm trying to put out there so they have a belief and they are passionate and they align with what i want so i'm not trying to actually sell this to anyone because like i said regardless of if we succeed in the crowdfunding the platform's already being developed. I got the team they because they align with my vision. So I've rallied people behind yeah. me to put in the sweat equity. And they're like, yo, we see what you're trying to build. We're going to build these smart contracts. We're going to build this UI. And yeah, we're not getting paid. Ain't nobody got any money for this yet. <laughs> Nobody's got a single dollar. Yeah. And everything's being built right now in the background. And it will indeed launch in the next 30 to 45 days regardless. So. I, I can't really pitch to people to say, yo, invest in me, trust me, do this, that, and the third, because if, like you said, if over the last 14 months of my content, 800 plus videos, if you haven't decided that you want to rock out with me, then I, I'm not here to convince you, you know, I'll just let my work <laughs> speak for itself. And I guarantee, like I said before, I will succeed, maybe not immediately, but absolutely and definitely, because this is a passion project that I'm 100% driven by. It's my... I told it before, it's my forever project. So until they throw dirt on me or throw me in an oven, I'm going to continue grinding this out because I love all three of these areas. So there's nothing else out there for me to do. Gotcha, man. Soundbar. All right. So let's do this. <clears throat> so I saved this one for last because to me, this is the cherry on top. Mm -hmm. This is one of the perks outside of the revenue share, the bonus points and, and the governance tokens. We got the task human platform. <laughs> My goodness, you got to share that one with them because this, the task human platform, not everyone has access to this platform. No. Not everyone can afford this platform. Right. But if you do have access to this platform, be ready to be leveled up wherever you are. Yeah in whatever technical field you manage and or support, if you plug into task human, be ready to be leveled up. And somehow you've got a partnership with those guys. Yeah. Help them understand what that is, coach. Yeah, so task human in and of itself is basically a uh, personal 
live one-on-one -on -one wellness platform, live one-on-one -on -one training wellness platform. So they do they do training in basically any area of wellness you can think of. Um, relationship coaching, spiritual coaching, financial coaching, yoga, yeah. Zumba, Pilates, um, you name it, dog training, for example. They got it. <laughs> There's a coach for yes. really any and everything. And what's so powerful about this platform is it's live on live one on one 24 7. So let's just say you were live one on one. Yeah. Coach, we got to play that back, man. <laughs> I don't want that to go over their head. Live one on one coaching yep. with experts. Right. Experts. Right. Yeah. So let's just say you were, you know, struggling to get to sleep because, again, something that happened in your life. So you've got some insomnia going on. You can get on a call at 1 a.m. U.S. time and find somebody in the other time zone that can walk you through some sleep meditation yoga and put you to sleep, calm you at ease, whatever the case may be. So any area of wellness, and they, like you just mentioned, these are expert coaches. So these people are actually, they go through a four interview process. I'm in the middle. I do interviews two and three uh, to actually source these uh, coaches. And it's a very strict process. And they've been around the platform now almost about five years. They got some VC funding. And their goal is to have 1 billion users on the platform, I think by 2025, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know exactly where they're at now, but they're trying okay. to be the go-to personalized wellness one-on-one -on -one platform in the world. And the way that they're tackling that which alludes to what you mentioned before not everybody has access is they originally were trying to sell this to the end consumer but like you mentioned it's expensive so i think right now expensive yeah it's uh it's gone down it used to be a dollar a minute i think now it's 50 cents a minute and so you're talking for you know one hour training call it's 30 bucks and that may not be expensive to some people but if you're doing psychology you're going through like 10 to 20 hours a month and that adds up very quickly <laughs> so absolutely it does yeah <laughs> so that's uh that's not affordable for a lot of people but no. for us and or what they did to fix that i should say is they decided to instead give this away to major corporations so like your top 500 uh type corporations and they give it to them as part of their what employee wellness package so kind of like your insurance model they can charge a premium and know that the company will pay for every single one of their employees, but not every single employee is going to use it because it's that kind of uh, insurance. You use it when you need it kind of thing so they can afford to do it a little cheaper. So because of that, they have exclusivity for the most part with companies. But since I kind of work, not kind of, I do work for them. I do coaching on the platform to clients and then I actually do part of the hiring process for other coaches. I pitched them this idea and said, hey, you're part of your vision or your mission statement is to get to a billion users. Here's an entire area that's going to be excelling that I think we can tap into. And essentially, I'm building a company. It's just a decentralized version of that. And I want to find a way to give my um, clients access to the platform. So the bridge is that in our crowdfunding model, we have this built in. So it costs a lot of money. So that's why the crowdfunding model at 50%, we can actually fund this part of the task human integration. And then at 100%, yeah. we can fully fund it. But regardless, again, that's why I keep telling everybody, it, it doesn't matter. I'm going to execute on this no matter what. It, this will be integrated into the roadmap mm. uh, regardless. Gotcha. So, no matter what. Right. Okay. So I'll add this mm -hmm. as its own NFT later to actually get this introduced to people that are participating on the Change360 platform. Sweet, very sweet soundbar. soundbar. Yeah, coach, I tell you this, um, in my previous life working at a Fortune 500 company, um, the executive level, we would always participate in these type of sessions. The difference was these people would actually come to the facility mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we would sit in these classrooms for anywhere between like three to five days yep. for the week yeah. and camps. get all of this high level training from these experts in their chosen field. Right. And here's, here's what I've learned. Um, here's what I've learned. Like everyone has the capacity in most cases to be brilliant. Mm -hmm. The difference is 
access to the right resources to help bridge the gap. Right. Because I find like if you're not in the room, you're not getting the same information. Yep. Right. So if you're in the room and you have access to the same information, a lot of your decision making will be better. Yeah. 100 percent. Right. They're not smarter. They just got access. So something like this allows the average person to level up their thinking, their physical ability, their mental stamina exactly. and all the other perks associated with task human. And that is part of your perks right and like you just mentioned come on man that accessibility is what what you just said allows them to level up and then if people are leveling up then they're becoming better functioning individuals in society contributing more and then again we make the slice of the pie bigger that's my goal i'm not trying to fight for the same piece i'd much rather have one percent of ten billion dollars than have one hundred percent of a hundred thousand dollars. Like it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I totally agree with you. I love it, man. So this is good. So let me go through this because I want to make sure because there were some things on my notes, and I believe we covered all of the high levels. Let's make sure, coach, because I really want people to play this back and uh, understand what it is, the perks associated with it, and then how to get involved. So. Clearly, we want people to get involved because you've done a good job of introducing yourself and explaining what it is and what the perks are associated with your product idea. Now, the natural progression will be like the call to action. So if they like what they heard mm -hmm. and they want to find out more, clearly they can follow you on YouTube because you've got a ton of videos that explain it. But then I know you've got a website for people to, to log into. Yep. So or get access to. Yeah. If you're looking to purchase the NFT, then that's going to be on sidekick.finance. I'm not going to give the whole thing because it's kind of long, but if you go there, you'll find at the top of their webpage, they have a, uh, a jump start button. That's basically where all these crowdfunding campaigns are. And then you'll see some other campaigns from other projects and you'll find ours, Change360. And you can click there. Of course, go to my channel. You'll find it there. You follow me on Twitter. You'll find it in multiple uh, different tweets. And then if you want to learn a little more about the actual Change360 platform, you can go to, well, technically right now, just go to change360.app. It'll just say coming soon. But if you put docs, dot change 360 dot app before it you can actually see kind of the wiki uh white paper that's out and available to give you some more information on the roadmap and some of the things we're designing because there's there's a lot more to this that we didn't cover at it because it, it would take forever for again what i envision this to be but uh you can find some of that teased out on that white paper as well as the the roadmap that's attached sounds good coach all right so let's do this we're at about 620 ish in let me see if anyone else has a question coach real quick all right anyone else that's still listening did you have a question all right dividend miracle are you raising your hand if so you can talk now oh it wasn't per se a question i just wanted to shout out coach uh you're one of my favorite youtubers <laughs> you actually uh get me thinking running those numbers and everything and uh i'm a supporter and I'll, I'll I'll support you, and as as Ray, and as you always say, put in your brick. Um, so I'll, I'll be doing that. I got <laughs> kicked it. out of the drip. Yeah, I got kicked out of the drip Telegram because of you defending you for your video. So <laughs> I, I feel like I, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a big supporter. So yeah, we all face that. the same. <laughs> you sacrifice yeah. your Telegram. Himself. He so, is definitely a so, supporter. Yeah, so I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, no problem. And like I said, I'm, I'm on support. And uh, like most people on here, I'm pretty sure they, 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 they support a whole bunch of projects and your project, definitely. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I wanted to say. And, you know, we all go through similar stuff with uh, with Forex's uh, projects and stuff. That's, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done. Right on, my yeah. right on my friend. I appreciate it. Hey, I feel you. Transparency. Hey, that's the constructive feedback we're exactly. talking about, man. Don't take it personal. Right. Do not take yeah, it personal. And I could tell from your tone, you probably didn't say anything inappropriate. No, I didn't. I, I, did, I just said his, his video yeah. was correct. It's, it's pure facts. Like, stop being emotional. This man has <laughs> mm -hmm. been saying this for six to eight months, running the numbers. He's the only one that does this. Yeah. that that shows the facts and you can you can run it down 
he's not saying anything wrong and and i don't you know i could talk for like 15 minutes but some of the stuff <laughs> that that some of the stuff that ray at barter town like does is like it, it irks me but i respect yeah. him and right, i think right. coach said this i think coach said this last week um he's been with forex for for years so i understand it if i was in ray's position i would do the same thing with kicking people out and like support and drift the way that he does right because right. that's where most of his money came from right. but it but I, I'm, I'm gonna get off but he irks me on certain things but i respect him but it's just like they they him and Forrest just got to do stuff a little bit differently to get more <laughs> people in we're we're a big right. community and that's why i'm in drip because of the way the community is for the past year right but they gotta uh I mean, everybody knows they just gotta do stuff yeah, a little bit right. different. Every, everyone knows. Yeah, yeah so that's sure. and I would say this: like Ray's got a tough job. Yeah, I mean, he absolutely he, does. He, he like does. I would hate to to be and, in his and, position. And, and, I really and would. that's why I say that's why I respect him. I mm -hmm. get it. You it, the position that you're in, you've been with rocking with Forex for years. You made all this money, so it's right. ride or die. Yep. I do the exact same thing, so I respect him yeah. on that. But it's just some of the things that he's done for the past four or five months, especially calling out Mo Crypto. Like that was just crazy. <laughs> but it's just, that was it's just, it's just some <laughs> things like you just gotta maneuver a little bit differently if if you want to get a broader range of people. Right, but that, right, I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna go on mute. But yeah. uh, <laughs> right on. No, no, no. Again, I appreciate right, exactly. the feedback because again it is it is well intended yep. and again we can tell from the couple interactions we've had already that you're really a very kind open-minded person and more importantly reasonable which means you can see both sides of the equation i tell people all the time somebody who tells me that their product or service is infallible i'm gonna call you a liar to your face <laughs> right. like everything on this planet has room for improvement and if you're closed-minded and not willing to listen to feedback yeah. then something about you tells me everything i need to know yeah exactly right everything i need to know so i would say this again because I, i'm gonna just leave with this ray has a very tough job because ray has absolutely and i'm hypothesizing ray has absolutely no benefits of calling out fork shark yeah exactly right None at all because of his massive influence. Mm -hmm. Like Ray has the potential to uh, moon a crypto or or bottom it, yeah. right? Just on his words because of his influence. And then yes, Ray has benefited financially from Drip. So everything he's telling you, he believes it 100%. Exactly. Because that's then his story. That's his truth. And we're all just waiting to be a part of that. And, and it just hasn't happened for most of us who got in late 2021. Yeah. And we're just waiting to be able to tell a story very similar to Ray. Yeah. So, so I'm sorry, can, can I say yeah. something real quick? <laughs> of course. And, and, you, and you just hit that the nail on the head. So the people who, and I think Drip Coach put out a, a poll about this, but the people that want DDD out are is everyone who came in January of 2021. I came in January 2021. Everybody who came in during that time until now wants DDD. If you came in 20, if you came in, no, I'm sorry, 2022. Right. If you came in 2021 of when Drip started till December of 2021. You want Animal Farm. You like, uh, what's his name? Crypto Kings. He's always talking about pigs. That's because you have a maxed out wallet. Right. Like, yes. if you got a maxed out wallet, all you're going to talk about is Animal Farm. I, yes. Being honest with you, I don't I don't even care about Animal Farm right now because I'm trying to get my maxed out wallet, right. which is um, which I'm going to get in like 80 days. Right. Once I get that maxed out wallet, then I can talk about Animal Farm. <laughs> but until then, for I mean, you know, I I need you to come out with DDD. Everybody, <laughs> every, everybody that no, I'm being I'm being honest. Oh, I, know, I, feel like, I know. I feel I feel like I most understand. people feel this way. Yep. I One, think so too. I think if so you too. got in January of 2022 and until now, unless you came in January of 2023 and got drip at 23 cents or 30 cents, right, right. You want DDD and like I don't I, I get it Forex. Like you gotta listen to your to your uh, your dial group. I get it, but like majority of the people want ddd like you you say you want to listen to the community like everybody wants this 
like just just do it but i, I get it it's your project you can do whatever you want right. but i, I, totally I just agree. want to say that I'm, no yeah, no no and, that. and yeah. honestly i think sometimes it's important for people to be completely transparent in like how they're feeling because you're right there's a lot of people on the call that are feeling the same way oh yeah and again you did it in a way that people can receive the message without being super critical so i i appreciate that and i agree i am also really hoping for something on drip and i i know it's coming it's it's right around the corner i think we've said it many many times before but we're closer than we were you know a day ago and i know that fork shark is really uh concerned about his legacy mm -hmm. right he's building a brand and he really needs drip to succeed because Anybody paying attention realizes that if Drip does not succeed, then the animal form is going to take its time in terms of being this uber successful platform. Right. Only because there's so many people waiting to hit on Drip so that they then can reinvest their money back into the animal form. So there's no way he's going to be willing to risk that capital on the Drip side for the sake of the animal form. I just think... Um, they're still working through some things and it's just mm. a lot slower than a lot of us want, but yeah. they're working on it. Yeah, yeah for sure. Coach, you got anything to add there? Nah, nah, I think yeah. uh, I literally touched on all the things that I keep putting out in the video. The, the one thing I guess I yeah. would uh, elaborate on or make it different is like, and I put this out before multiple times and it just came as me and Epiphany. It's like, yeah, I'm at the stage where I don't care or think Forex needs to do anything. There's a new video I got coming out now, I think about that. And it's because of not what you said infallible but the fact that the contract is there and it's immutable so it works yeah right so all we have yeah. to do as a community so we keep saying what forex needs to do and we would like what ray would do or we'd like for telegram to be this at a third it's like no that's the whole reason i created the drip marketing dow is so that i can take control and take yeah. it to where i want it to be with my vision and a community that I can create that will support it in the way that I know will be successful. So it's like, yeah, I don't actually care anymore what happens on the other side because I know the work ethic and the team that I'm building and that I'm not gonna let this go and that this can and will be successful uh, in the future by this marketing team. And not just with the marketing team for Drip, this is a decentralized marketing team that I can now take and pimp out <laughs> to other projects. Yes, <laughs> so, totally. So totally we're becoming this kind of AI. Actually, we use AI. We use AI for the blogs, use AI for the art and all this stuff. So we can be very efficient and precise and start creating a rally cry in multiple different countries and areas once we kick this thing off and, and able to fund it. So it's like, yeah, I'm not worried about any projects anymore or anything like that. I'd like it right now, of course, because I'm wrecked just like the rest of us. But I know I have a solution. And the solution again is built on science and facts and not anything else. So it's like, yeah, I'm, uh, I can kind of now just push off everything that I hear and the delays. And I'm like, yo, I'm working on something that I know will be monstrous and tying it with my Chain360 platform. I can take that marketing team and then have them market to again, non-crypto people. There's billions of them out yes. there. So I'm like, yeah, I, this is limitless for with me. The beam. Yeah, billions with the B. That's what I'm saying. We're we're gonna get there, and so would he. And to your point, which is crazy, like, and I can't believe I finally gotten to this point. I am less focused on a date from Forex than I ever been, mm -hmm. and that's being extremely honest with people. And I think I had to really uh, shift my mindset and think about the half full concept, yeah. which is in my example. Here's what's kind of happened with the delays it was never a realistic goal for me to think that i could max out a wallet at 27.4 k drip because at the time that i got in it was like a hundred dollars right per drip you understand right so wouldn't that have been if my math is right how much is that like 27.4 if you add two more zeros is that like 2.7 million dollars or something like that that was that was never a goal and now i can honestly say that i can actually max out in a wallet in like 30 to 60 days right right that that was never a real possibility right and then think about the other thing in terms of the community actually becoming independent exactly. and really putting the drip ecosystem on their backs mm. like look at all of the products we've got change 360 Right? We've got the Guardians of the Reservoir. We've got Hellhounds. We've got Droplet. Right? And we've got 
all of these massive and then uh foodtopian yep just came Foodtopian's out Foodtopian's got something yeah. like think about it. if we were all swimming in money there's no way in heck these ideas would have become concepts that people can execute exactly. on. exactly right so all we're really doing is kind of building momentum in the meantime so you're building your bag and you're building momentum with all of these new product ideas so when we finally not we but when forex finally <laughs> launches <laughs> We're going to be so positioned that this is going to be a distant memory. Yeah. Cause keep in mind, it's only been a year, but we know that in cryptocurrency years, like 10 years, Yeah, for sure. but a year of your lifetime is nothing. Think about this. And I, I, I don't want to sound like I'm saving anybody and making excuses. I'm just letting you know the shift I had to, to make to feel less uh, emotional about what's happening. Yeah. Here's the other thing I tend to think about. Think about your average career working your typical nine to five monday through friday mm -hmm. right they are telling you to put aside 50 to 200 bucks a month and after 30 years right. you may have like a hundred thousand yeah. dollars you, you see where i'm going yeah, with this coach yeah, for sure. <laughs> 30 years you may have a hundred thousand dollars sitting there waiting for you right and we're concerned about 12 to 18 months yeah <gasps> I get it. Trust me, I do. I get the frustration. I do. But we got to keep things in perspective. For sure. Really, just keep things in perspective. All right. Great conversation. Coach, <laughs> anything else you wanted to add? No, nah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> My man, man, I enjoy the conversation, man. We never know where they're going to go. And what makes them even more fun is when the listeners actually become speakers. Yeah, for sure. Like, so, so get out of your cocoon and, and actually become a butterfly. <laughs> and, and for the men, I'll come up with a different example for you. Because <laughs> that sounds kind of cute, but I will. All right, but I do. Who's Trap, okay, there we go. Trap, can you hear me, sir? Hey, hey. Right what's, on, brother. What's How going on, doing? family? Hey, check it out, right? Good, good. I don't know. I know everybody see. Oh, shit, look at New York laughing at me. Um, <laughs> I know y'all seen Stun a video this morning. It kind of made me tight. He talking about drip coach got to be white. He talking about, I know he white. Why would you say such a thing? <laughs> no, I didn't see that. Oh, no. What? I got to check it out. <laughs> he talking about, and, and he was, I mean, no hate. I'm just making jokes. But he he yeah. said it like it was a fact. And then he already said you was like a, a tree hugger or some shit. Yeah, I'm like, oh, man, he hating on my <laughs> boy, man. <laughs> Um, coach, but I said it before, which is why I said it's so important for you to get on Twitter spaces. Like, this is the platform where you can actually come on and ask, answer questions. In this case, answer questions live so people can really understand your makeup. And I don't think people understand right. your makeup. In the last two Twitter spaces that we've had, man, if they don't know who you are by now, they'll never get it. And to your point, you don't need their support. Exactly. Right? Because yep. you you really, really don't. Because I already know for a fact, man, that you're misunderstood only because you are willing to give the unfiltered, raw and uncut truth. You don't pick a side. You let the data speak for itself. Right. And I'm telling you right now, there's nobody who can argue the data that you present. So if if they're mad at anything, <laughs> it's not you as the person; it's the freaking data. Right, right. Period. It's right. I, and and if people <laughs> don't want to accept the data, that's a separate conversation. Yeah, exactly. But your job is to make people aware of the information. You take all of this noise, and like I said before, you take all this noise and you sift through the BS and say, "Here's what you need to focus on," because. I know it's, it's drip specific and I'm getting amped up because I need people to understand this because I think the same way. I know it's drip specific content, drip ecosystem specific content, mm -hmm. but, but it's cross-functional. Meaning you can take the same analysis that you're doing for drip and animal form and apply it to another cryptocurrency. Right. So you know what you're doing? You're actually educating people by providing resources and guidance and analytical tools to make freaking decisions with your money right right so hey, anybody hey. who wants to argue that yo take a second look because i think you're taking sound bites yep in small cuts right like the top g small small sound bites small cuts and not really getting the context in which he's delivering the information 
And I think once you build all that in, your perspective of coach will change. Guarantee. I got to watch that video and see what he said. So I, it's, it's yeah. on my queue. I didn't get to watch. I usually watch all the videos before, but since this call was at 5 a.m., so I usually watch them on my run and stuff like that. But I got up at four, so I couldn't see it. His is in the queue, but I haven't seen it yet. But it's funny. If he said that, it's yeah. hilarious because that last video I did about seven days ago where I think I put the uh, Spartan 300 on the thumbnail. It was just a walk and talk. So it's just me five minutes talking about, um, you know, why I'm passionate about Drip now. And, you know, the community's got Drip, uh, Drip Marketing Dow going and all this stuff. That was me on the camera talking. Stunner commented on that video and said, no fluff YouTube, baby, because I actually put in there, this is no fluff. This is me unfiltered. He commented on that video, saw my face, <laughs> and he's seen my face on other ones as well. So, man, he's just... I don't know. Stunders so, Trap, is he a fan? I, just, I don't want to get it twisted. He's a fan, right? He's a, he's a yeah, fan. Now, yeah. what I think, to be honest, to be honest, I think he just get, I, I think he get certain people mixed up with the names. Yeah. Okay. Because Stunner, like, don't get me wrong, he in the space, but, you know, he doing his own thing. Yeah. He, he not tapped in like we are, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, for so sure. I think he just mixed up the name because if you listen to the video, yeah. he was kind of mixing up names. He was like, "Oh, I think his name's such and such," <laughs> but he was talking about somebody else, and then, you know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, he, he said he drip strategy, drip st strategy. Yeah, he was talking about drip strategy as well. Right, so right. I think that's what it was. Okay, just okay, just okay. Spoke. I missed I, 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 I was like, I, I know Stun has got to be a fan. I yeah. just want to yeah. make sure everybody caught the message and make sure that he wasn't throwing shade like was, I, no, no, I could no, not no. expect that yeah it was just hilarious i was like oh man i thought y'all seen it that's why not I'm yet not it's yet. on my queue <laughs> i haven't got it yet mine too <laughs> hey hey one more thing i wanted to add man if y'all don't mind uh i did a little calculations man and i could be wrong i'm not you know i'm not a mathematician but you know based off my own process or you know journey if people have been compounding even since like all-time highs yeah at a at two dollars they should be broken even mm. but this is the bonus they have way more drip i know right. you said that earlier come on right man. right the type I mean, of drip you got is crazy the thing the thing is they not really paying attention to that part because they chasing these mcdonald meals they want to do more, <laughs> more, more, you know and it's cool i get it right I, I wasn't always able to eat vegetables either, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because a salad is much expensive than a burger. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But Makes uh, I, sense. you know, I get it. But like you said, you made a great point when you said, I, I'm not sure if you were talking about the bank. I kind of tuned out a little bit, mm -hmm. but you was like 30 years, 100 grand. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we complained about 18 months. Bro, yeah. this year went by like a breeze. Right. Yeah. I, I remember it was just December and we was talking about. DDD in March. It's March. I forgot all about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. Saying? Absolutely. Like, no, no, you got it wrong. It's going to be in about three minutes. Right. <laughs> so, right, right. The whole thing is just just compound, bro. Just so, compound. Because everything compound. else is outside of our control. Yeah. It's which, been going which, steady. Yes. It's outside of our control. What he's going to do is outside of our control. You can control how you respond to it and how you contribute. That's it. Right. So getting pissed off and trying to rush that guy to do anything, that's a waste of time and energy. Exactly. Let it go. I learned I learned a lot um about with that word community. Is is real. Like if we okay, if everybody in this in this space right now, like in this um Twitter space, say we had a neighborhood, right? But mm -hmm. we didn't have a govern like police and stuff like that. It was just all us. We would need people to protect. That's a part of the community. Absolutely. We need farmers, somebody to pr provide food. We would need uh, some type of woman to, to, to be a nurse in yeah. our community. Thousand percent. Those are putting your bricks in. Right. Thousand percent. Town bar. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys. So look. Man, I was trying to cut it off at 6 30. You know how we roll. <laughs> yeah, my we bad. always my go bad. a little long. <laughs> all right, it's all good. It's all good. Life is good, though. Life is good. Hey, for all of my speakers and my listeners, one last time, because I don't want to make sure everybody had something to say that they were able to say it. Uh, otherwise, uh, Coach, as always, man, it is fun, entertaining, engaging, and I always learn something every time we have a conversation, man. I would say this out loud and to everybody that's listening, you are a massive contribution to the space 
a big time ambassador. And I'm so glad you're on our team, man. That's all I got to say. So glad you're on our team. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is definitely my forever team now. I found my tribe and I'm going to build them out brick by brick, just like putting in the support for it. So I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I already know, bro, because I'm going to need you every Wednesday. No, I'm <laughs> hey, hold on, Drip Coach, one sec. Let me see if um, I can get NYC in here. I'm trying to get him connected. Let's see if he connects. And in the meantime, all of my listeners, Don Sepp, I see ya. Want to pay your in real life bills for crypto? Go back to the How about saying crypto direct max out with wallets. a bank account? Man. Only Max Finance five is wallets. a decentralized solution Telling to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take Master custody of your assets welcome. and allow support on multiple blockchains and web Rock. wallets. Okay, NYC, Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 so let's do this. bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral night. bonuses to airdrop, donate, and or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now. Prosperity.